Howdy folks. Welcome to another customer requested product. This is a plastic comb for the Leatherman Free Series tools. Uh, this fits the Free P2, P4, and Leatherman Crunch. It can replace any of the main blades or scissors. Uh, in this case, I have it on my Free P2. Uh, it does have a little spot for a magnet. Uh, does not come included because the way these are made, uh, they're printed by Shapeways and sent directly to you. Uh, but that little magnet is uh, an inexpensive magnet. It is the D2H1 from K&J Magnetics. Basically, you need one-tenth of an inch by one-eighth of an inch. Uh, eighth of an inch diameter, tenth of an inch thick. That's how thick all these tools are. Um, if you do want to install this in place of the saw um, on a free P4, just be aware that there's going to be some thin washers between the implements that you'll need to remove. Um, on my, my case, I don't have a saw anymore. I have uh, mine, of course, all modified. Uh, but I will show how to install this into the tool in just a minute. Uh, first, I wanted to talk about the material. This is Nylon 11. It is an extremely strong, flexible plastic. Uh, just as an example, this is Nylon 12. And you can see Nylon 12 is pretty strong, but eventually will snap. Nylon 11 is much uh, more flexible. Um, even at the weak point here, uh, it'll come back. So what we're going to do is install this onto... I'm going to replace the serrated blade on my P4, uh, which is going to kind of remove my little nice red accent here with my uh, thumb tab. Um, the combs uh, have built-in thumb tabs, so there's a little tab right here that uh, lets you basically decide if you want to, which side you want to replace it on, and that just makes it easier to deploy. So all I've got to do is remove the screw. This is uh, Torx T9 bit on each end. Use the same bit to kind of push it through a little bit. I'm going to pull this out and note that there is a thick washer attached between the scale and the blade. You'll need to keep that. So we're going to go ahead, put that washer right here, back on here. Slide this back into place. Now note I did ream out both of these holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Because of the powdered material that is initially used, sometimes there could be something stuck in there, so it's just easier to ream those out. Work this back in. Drive the screw back in. And the amount of tension you put on the screw is going to control how much tension your blades all have to deploy. It needs a hair more. Sometimes I need to have, be holding the other side to, to do it tension properly, which I think it will in a little bit. There you go. So all we need to do to install the magnet is put a little bit of super glue in there, just the absolute tiniest amount. It does look like when I bent that, there was a little bit of a crack that did actually developed there, so I'll just super glue that closed. Uh, that flex test I did is something you shouldn't end up doing yourself. Um, if it is, you can just repair it with some super glue. And then take yourself a pair of pliers, stick the magnet on there, and then just clamp it in there like that. Got a little towel, clean off any excess super glue. In this case, I actually need to straighten the blade back out a little bit. There we go. So now I have an everyday carry comb on my Leatherman Free P4. Simple as that. Uh, these are available on my website, zapwizard.com. Uh, they're not available on Shapeways because the Nylon 11 material is not available uh, directly on Shapeways.com. Uh, they're only available through uh, third-party websites. Uh, if you're asking about if this can be made in steel, um, I did try to get it made in 17.7 stainless steel, which is a magnetic steel. Um, but they claim that these tongs are, uh, or the fingers on here would not uh, work out. 
uh, due to their the way their process of polishing and, and sintering. Uh, so they kind of rejected uh, making something uh, this small out of the stainless steel. But nylon 11, obviously nylon combs are very popular. Again, nearly indestructible plastic. That's what an indestructible, indestructible nylon comb is made from. Not claiming this is indestructible, but it's extremely durable. And for what you need to do, comb and hair, it should work for you. All right. Thanks for watching.